the same colors and that uh, a kind of forest green there, Luke Griffith from South Africa, training in Austin, Texas with John Danaher and the New Wave squad. And Luke Griffith, a, an ADCC European trials winner, veteran of the 2022 ADCC World Championships. But I don't think that, I don't think those credentials really do enough to kind of say what this guy's about, right? Round yeah, one. he's he's already a trials champion, but he's grown so much since that time. He comes out, makes contact, pulls guard right away. Now you'd be, yeah, you wouldn't be amiss for thinking that there's a big size disparity in this match here. On top, in black, is Kaya Rudolph, hailing from oh, New Zealand. look at that. And he definitely is undersized compared to the very tall figure of Luke Griffith, who hits this early sweep. No points, though, this early Correct. in the match. So the only way to score points in the first two minutes is through a takedown, but Luke's looking for the kill right away. Yeah, he, he knows now that that submission, if he can get this match done early, and these guys can get out of here and move on to the next. Rudolph. But look at the hip flexibility there from Rudolph. He, sa he saved the pass for a bit, but... Luke Griffith. looking to step across to the mount. Yeah, when you break it down for us, this interesting grip that Griffith has over the back here. Yeah, he's he's in a north-south, basically, but that underhook and then that pin, he's basically got him in a pin there. But he wants to step over into this mount. He's using that grip under the body. There he goes to isolate and pin the hip so he can step over into the full mount. Oh, we're going to see a smother. Are we going to see a smother choke? We know these new wave guys have basically oh, put the smother at, choke on the look map. Look at this, though. An excellent counter work. Kaya was looking to come out the back door. That hip flexibility is absolutely oh, this insane. Is, this is bad news. He's already got the double underhooks trying to slide up, maybe thinking about sliding up to an S mount. Anytime those elbows get separ separated away from the torso like that, it is a dangerous position to be in, and especially so when you have the very large figure of Luke Griffith on top of you in control like this. But here's, hey, he's not just got the smother, right? He's got options. He's got a lot of options, and he's going straight to the gift wrap. He's going to look to slide to the back and try to put this thing down early, and maybe switching off now to the arm triangle, back into the points. double underhook search, and now the points are in. We're seeing a lot happening here. Griffith is uh, he's using the threat of multiple attacks from this position. Even though he is in control, he is by no means just riding out the position. And look how he threatens the Americana on one side to try to open up the back take on the other side. Look at that, Kaya gets that foot here. around in front and he's gonna escape the mount with this, lace up a leg. And Luke has to roll through and Rudolph, Kaya looking to take the back of Luke Griffith, escapes the mount position. Incredible sequence there, and not over yet. Thought for a moment that Rudolph might hit a, it's kind of a sacrifice style sweep stroke throw on Let's the guard pole, but that was incredible work there from Kaya. And I think that goes to show that, you know what, even though he was in a bad position, man, and, and again, in another bad position now, still kind of just waiting for that moment to go on the attack, and, and that they, was an incredible piece of work they there. Gave they gave Kaya a negative for the guard pull because he pulled guard during that exchange. And now Luke with the guard pass. Interesting though. Oh yeah, we've seen now 3-0 for the pass from Griffith. It just took a while for the points to show on the board. And he's going to look to go back to the mound again, setting it up. Here he comes. Interesting that we see him trap the leg before kind of straddling the chest this time. I think he wants to make sure that I mean, he found out that Kaya is the kind of guy, he's got that squirmy kind of escapes, right? And I think he was like, okay, I'm not letting you out this time. I'm gonna lock you down. Luke Griffith just putting on a display. And we, we saw Kaya get a little bit of momentum going. Even looked pretty good on the feet there for just a second. Like he, he threatened, he got the body lock, almost jumped the back of Griffith. And now Luke sliding around, gonna look to expose the back and now maybe the arm. Double threat, and it's going to be the back take. And Luke just racking up points, locks yeah. the body triangle. So he's going to go across the face and try to close this thing out right now. That was two points for the mount, three points for this oh! body triangle, and we're going to make a choke to get it done here in the first match in this series. 
Luke Griffith takes the win for Team Modolfo. The winner, Luke Griffith. Well, Brandon, I gotta say that I am, uh, I'm not, I'm not shocked by Luke Griffith taking the win in that match, but I will give credit where it's due. I am impressed by the resilience there midway through that match from Kaya Rudolph, but I feel like it was a little bit too tall of a mountain to climb. The South African grappler obviously in control there, and uh, maybe you want to break us down through some of these moments here. Well, this was the big escape. You know, we almost got to look at it there. Check this out. We call that a B. Smith in the 10th Planet system. You slide. Those feet get inverted, and look, almost a big moment. Roll through by Griffith. Ends up on top position out of all of it. But aside from just the brief exchange from Kaya, it was all Luke Griffith. Dominant positionally, dominant with the submission, and no surprise, Team Modolfo with this stacked squad comes out. Look, no need to even go under the chin, just straight across, across the face. Straight across yeah. the face. Everything under the nose and is the neck, they say. Kilograms. Up first for Team Al Leone. Shoot, fly, shake. Uh, yeah, yeah. Shu Huaqing out of Shanghai, China, representing Al Leone. And his opponent from Team Adolfo, Fabricio Andre. And I think that this right here is one of the athletes that the audience and spectators should be most uh, excited to watch. Fabricio Andre, an absolute firecracker of a grappler, hailing from the Manaus, uh, Manaus in the Amazon, commonly referred to as uh, the Dagestan of Brazil, oh, where all the best champions come from. Round the Hokage four. has taken the mat. Here we go. We're underway. There is a quick look at the tail of the tape, but the action is underway already. There is no wasting time here at Aiga Champions League. Fabricio Andre, one of the most exciting athletes in the sport. Incredible athlete, brilliant movements. He's already sliding around the guard and a nice recovery. But here he goes, past the guard Man. already. The oh, Foggy Joe attempt. Oh, oh, oh. He saw it coming. But the speed of that leg drag and the footwork in getting around the guard so quick. This is why you can't blink when Fabricio Andre is on the mat. He's looking to jack that arm up. Got the underhook deep over here on his left side. Heavy hips with that mount. And you know what? If there was any question about whether the guys would take it easy in the first two minutes because there are no points and they would step on the gas in the latter half of the round, well, it just goes to show that Fabrizio Andre is out to get it done. Yeah, they put all, all of that idea to 